initial coterminal angles have the same initial and terminal sides. So again, to go and practice 5 pi over, five pi over 6, what I'm going to do is remember, I always know my initial side because this, this um, equation is going to be in standard form. So I know that I'm always going to have the same initial side. However, how do I graph 5 pi over 6? Well, remember, if I was going to graph an angle, pi would be over here. But my fraction is 5, 6. Is 5, 6 greater than or less than 1? Less than 1. So it's not going to be all, it's not going to be all the way around a circle, right? Or all the way around. It's going to be less than pi, right? So if I said, well, all the way around would be 6 pi over 6. So therefore, 5 pi over 6 is roughly going to be like right there. Just roughly. We don't really need to actually know exactly where it's at. Usually, we're just going to be asking for what quadrant or where it's at. I could, we could break it down, though, if you wanted to, right? So 5 pi over 6 is right, roughly right there. All right. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, to find coterminal angles, that just means angles that have exactly the same initial and terminal, where here's your initial side, here's your terminal. That's it. That's all you got to figure out. So we could say, well, you could start here, and you could go in the negative direction, right? So remember, if I was to combine these two angles, I could say they would add up to 2 pi, right? Or if you think of degrees, they add up to a revolution of a circle in degrees, that'd be 360. However, in this problem, we're dealing with radians, and all the way, if halfway around a circle is pi, all the way around a circle is 2 pi. So for my coterminal angles, I could say that, uh, so we'll call this angle theta prime. If that's theta, we'll call this one theta prime. So I could say theta plus theta prime equals 2 pi, right? So I could just subtract theta. Now, usually what we like to do is just add and subtract um, 2 pi from it. But for this one, you could say, well, 2 pi equal, or theta prime equals 2 pi minus theta. So theta prime equals 2 pi minus, what do we have, 5 pi over 6? All right, so now, how do I get 2 pi to be rewritten as a denominator of 6? We can write it as 12 pi over 6, right? So it ends up equaling 7 pi over 6. Huh? Right, 12 divided by 6 is the same thing as 2, right? Yeah. But now, since I have denominators of 6, I can subtract the fractions. Yes? So it's, it's 2 pi minus 5 pi over 6, and not 5 pi over 6 minus 2 pi? No, I'll show you what I'm talking about here right now. Okay. So you end up getting, I'm showing you guys this way so you can visually understand how to got this angle, right? Okay. But look it, I said it was in the negative direction, right? Yeah. So if you're going to do something like that to understand conceptually how it works, you need to understand that this is... 7 pi over 6, but you got to make sure you bring in the negative sign, right? Yeah. So that's why it can get a little confusing if I do it this way. But me, on a graph, this conceptually kind of makes sense to me. Because you can see, oh, from here to here, it's 5 pi over 6. So from here to here is going to be 7 pi over 6. But it's in the negative direction, so you got to add the negative symbol. The further way, the best way that we like to just find coterminal angles Coterminal angles, all you can do is if you just take your theta, your angle, and if you just add 2 pi, or if you, add, or if you take theta, theta and equals, equals, subtract 2 pi, you'll get the exact same answer. All right, so if you guys would have taken 5 pi over 6 and subtracted 2 pi, you ended up would have getting negative 5 pi over 6. And what we're really doing, if you think about it this way, if you take 5 pi over 6, right? If I subtract 2 pi, how far is 2 pi? 2 pi is around the whole circle, right? So if I went around 2 pi in the negative direction, I would go back to my terminal side, which would give you that negative 7 pi over 6. But yeah, these are like your two formulas you guys can understand. But usually on a test, I'm going to ask you to find the negative and the positive. So here's the negative. So if I want to find that um, positive, you can look at your angle and say, all right, well, I already did it this way, and I already did it this way. What are the ways you can do it? Well, you can add, you can add multiples of, um, these are really, you can really add multiples of these. So you can just say, all right, well, add 2 pi again. So you just add another version of 2 pi. So I can say 5 pi, 5 pi over 6 
plus 2 pi. And so that's 12 pi, so what, you get 17 pi over 6? Right? Because we said 2 pi is 12 over 6. So I just rewrote that as 12 over 6 in my brain, add it to 5 pi over 6, so I got 17 pi over 6. Yes? Show your work like what? Uh, you need to show me that you're, I mean, what you're doing, how you're getting your two angles, unless you're making um, sense. But I mean, the theta and stuff that, I mean, it's just your variables that we're going to be using. We're going to be using. 